even a loner has people or things that they want to protect. Bro, Haruka was so epic last episode. She's truly showing you the uh, true aura of the Sigma Hitoribochi, who just goes out and just does his own thing. So it was one of those, like, I'm not sure if they were one of the otaku members, but this guy definitely has knowledge of how, you know, stuff like an isekai world works. And he's going around just killing people. I think someone mentioned a really interesting point about how, like, why is he killing despite him not having hijack? Because hijack belongs to the class rep, and that's how you kill someone and take their skills. Well, remember, like, SAO, season 3, Quinella? How she discovered, maybe some spoilers, but if you kill other living beings, you get a lot of EXP, but that shit got banned. I don't think we've really seen other people really kill. What if this guy got so like powerful and leveled up a lot because he was just going on PKing and realized it's a good source of EXP? I'm not really sure, but hey, the delinquents deserve what they were got what they got they were coming. Let's begin today's reaction. Make me. Even a loner. Yeah, there's the line. Oh, look at that aura. Okay, we're just getting right into it. Mm. Damn, you can just fucking summon rocks out of thin air. Discount Gilgamesh. Debuff. The girls? The jocks? I don't think they can get to the forest in time. Because it takes a long time to get there, right? And the fight's happening like right now. How can they help? Yeah, you might be liabilities, to be honest. The metal. Uh, the episode where someone was getting choked to death, I guess? Mm. They were always hiding his face. From the beginning, probably. He probably got bullied back in the day, and this is like his ultimate form of revenge as they're in Isekai world, right? Okay. It might be even more like malicious if he actually never got bullied back in the day. Like, I thought that this shit stems back from, like, before they got isekai and this is just, like, revenge for all the stuff, but who knows? Nah, Haruka's good! How the f- Nah, 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 Also, he kind of looked like the, um... So we had budget Gilgamesh, and now this is budget, uh... I forget the guy's name, but he's a guild leader in solo leveling. He looks like Aizen, he wears the glasses, he's got drip, he also uses fire. Reminds me of him right now. The yeah, Guildmaster Che. Wait. What's happening? The fire's getting contained. What was that? Packing? What was that? Was that packing? Can he use fire magic now? Secret ability. Magic effect absorption. What the fuck? So this thing can literally absorb any magic. Yo, Haruka's actually bust. The sh not, not even his skills, the leftover skills, sure, but even like this weapon thing, bro, you can absorb any magic? That's busted. And I guess it's it's coincidental. That like accident we had by the merchant where we kind of like, you know, bumped into each other and everything kind of got fused together. Like, this is a great fucking lust. Great luck comes in odd numbers, man. The opening said so. Yeah, we should thank, you know, class rep for this mistake. Oh shit, it's the purgatory sword. Oh, 
Too cocky. He's so arrogant. Oh. Budget Gilgamesh. Dual wielding. Nah, it should be fine. It should be fine. He's good. It is impressive that our stick, our wooden stick is, you know, defending against all these moves. Damn. Bro got sent flying so hard, he was a skipping rock here across the water. Did you see that? He didn't drown in the water. He skipped through the water, bro. I think that, like, I, I thought maybe because he has so much different weapons and stuff that he wouldn't be proficient in any, like, a jack-of-all-trades and we could beat him because he's, like, a noob at everything. But he's pretty strong. But were we talking about some sort of weapon skill art? Like, there was, like, a moment. There was, like, a moment of opening when a weapon skill art is about to happen and Haruka will, like, take advantage of that. Maybe we're waiting for that. <laughs> Bell ain't rang yet. I'm still up. <laughs> Was that a tooth? I don't think so. Allows you to copy any skill and use it as if they're their own. So this is how he can get hijacked. What a bullshit. This might be the actual biggest bullshit skill out of all, right? You thought packing was that? No, he can have anything. Then she wouldn't always nag on us, blowing the whistle and say, Hey, you! No, you can't go there! Nah, nah, I can't, I can't justify her killing because of that. She means well. I like class red. The Reaper. Yeah, and you know what the craziest thing is? It's not his crazy weapon skills. It's that your wooden stick is fending off, off every one of these things. Is there really nothing? Bro, you haven't even tried though. Noni. He been counting? Bro's been just observing the entire time. Yo, this is a now I understand moment. Bro hadn't downloaded. He gets it. He knows. Uh-oh, he's losing his, you know, composure. Easy. Now I understand. Bro, which is observing, taking notes, downloaded. Mm. So, like, three times is it, and then that's it. You can never use it again. It's not like you can only use it three times per day or three times per fight. But he intentionally does two times for everything because third time, then it's fucking gone. Copycat is pretty... It's still really OP, but this is definitely a lot more balanced now. Bro thinks that he is Gilgamesh's treasury, bro. The fucking, he's what lies beyond the gates of Babylon. Yes, I know it's Babylon. Downloaded. Body, body, body. Get fucked. Wait. God, he's got so many moves. 
because you're a copycat, bro. You're a fraud. You're getting carried by your bullshit OP skills. But my man's been actually taking his time to like understand everything. And like actually grind and train and like have more proficiency with everything. You're just randomly throwing shit. This dude's been grinding the one thing that he has. Why would you tell us that? Don't tell us that. The most OP of OP. Okay. Oh, oh, oh it's so fast. I don't know, he got purple aura. You missed. It might have to do with like, I don't know. Like you get hit three times by the same move and like, I don't know, your weapon gets destroyed or some shit. What is it? I think so. Got him. Some sort of debuff? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what'd you say? Your skill is just called death. <laughs> so, so the dagger thing didn't matter. It was just a distraction to get some rocks happening so you can hide behind it and just use death. How do we counter death? I don't know. It, it, it's seeming like it's a, Can we counter it? Do we have some sort of packing? Can we pack death away? Who knows? Shine? Uh, surely we won't just die like this. I don't know. Wait for it. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> Nah, he's jinxing himself. You shouldn't laugh like this after a battle. I think that this is an act. I think that Haruka is definitely waiting for an opportunity to strike right now. Get his ass now! Get his ass now! Wake up! Bro! Bro? Bro! How did she get back up? What the fuck just happened? Um, the ground actually. There's some like I don't know. This is where he was lying down. I'm not really sure what the fuck just happened there. He's he's up though. Any what? Who's level eleven? Are we level eleven? We're like level nine or something, right? Wait, <laughs> like this death kill only works on people like probably like uh level 11 and above or something. I doubt it means only 11. Are we 11 specifically? I thought we were 9. Oh, we skipped it. So we're 11 now. Okay. Yeah, I think that there was like a double level up. We bought the Goblin Emperor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a Goblin Emperor dude who was like a tiny little thing, but that was really strong. Now we did level up. How did we survive this? I thought the implication here is like... Because we're too low level, it wouldn't work on us, which would be hilarious. What? Resistance to illness. Status debuff. That's just a debuff. <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. I ain't arguing. Let's go. I mean, if you have a bullshit power called death and you die. I'm perfectly fine with well-being, bro. Based. That's right, he's lucky. He's so lucky. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna beat the luckiest man, man? <laughs> Feeling embarrassed now? Well-being. We just explained it to you. Well-being. That's a status debuff, isn't it? Puppet. So it was literally like a dummy clone version. Haruka, maybe there was like a different dummy that was taking all that shit. Wait, what? This is a weird ass skill. 
dummy I thought meant like you had like a different clone that you could do shit with, but like you are treating yourself as the dummy that you're you're honestly like doing third party shit where you control yourself. It's a crazy concept, but like Puppeteer, he's dumbing himself, he's moving himself with the dummy skill. <laughs> Very lucky. Easy, easy, easy. Get out of here. Yo, he's tilted. <laughs> okay, now, instead of discount like uh, Gilgamesh and, uh, you know, Guildmaster Che from Solo Leveling, this looks like Attack on Titan now. This looks like Levi. This is like ODM gear. You're like launching forward. You got the whole fucking cape. You got the. Yeah, straight up, this is Attack on Titan, right? This is, this is a fucking scout shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the fucking saying here is? There's a meme. Uh, it's something of like it's like a crying bird of like I cal I, I took a calculator risk, but damn, am I bad at math or something? But he's pretty good at math, but not this time. Yeah. Not this time. Sure. We got new federal rules here, bro. That's right, 1 plus 1 equals 3 here if I want to. Fuck you. At least 2. Could be 3, bro. Quick math. Oh. Backstory time. <laughs> so at least. Copycat. So like that's even crazier, right? I mentioned in the beginning, maybe he was bullied and that's why he's going around hunting these people down, but nah. Bro was just left alone. He was bored. He was so bored that he just chose to kill his classmates for fun. Amazing. <laughs> Clearly not. Because I rolled max luck, bro. You think I care about your 1 plus 1 equals 2? 1 plus 1 equals 11 to me in this world. Uh, you might have a couple left. Bruh. How the fuck does that sword telepathically move? No. One plus one equals eleven. <laughs> one more time. Oh, look at that aura. What the hell? That's right. <laughs> It's like this whole notion of like you chose OP skills, but like just as OP it is, you never have to train them or learn about them. Everyone else has been actually grinding and understanding how to use it to its full potential. <laughs> Made up skill? I think that's the uh like the shit that we combined everything into our staff. The made up skill is basically just like a fucking weapon strike, right? With our staff. Is he dead? Is Haruka gonna have to face actual like the weight of taking a person's life? If you're packing. That is true though. He's creative. Is he dead? I can't tell. Do we have no stamina caps or something? Maybe the girls can now finally show up and like help us out. Oh, he thinks about her first. <laughs> Doesn't remember their names though. Nah, 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 nah. The girls! The boys! The otakus? Am I... This is an illusion? Yo, the boy showed up for us! 
So like class rep and everyone else, the girls literally just stayed back home and did nothing with the jocks. Bro, the Ota group just always clutching for us. There they are. It's the girls and the jocks. Welcome back. That was a quick walk. You're the hero today, man. High five. Nice. Happy ending. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna scrub me down? Yeah, the, the girls just fucking took him, bro. Look at it, look at this. And you're gonna throw him in and scrub him up. Oh. The long-awaited apology from the gals. Remember, their goal was to apologize to the otakus, right? And I think, like, bro, the gal leader here and the otaku leader, I think there might be something romantic going on, maybe. Yo, I want to see the otakus and, you know, the gals develop some sort of relationship. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to sneak off. Yeah, class rep got us. Welcome back. I'm home. Wow. Because I'm a loner. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a Sigma male. I choose to participate when I want to. Now I'm going back to my fucking man cave. Go away. But I didn't. What would you do? Why do you care? What's the implication here? Huh? You trying to tell us something, class rep? Come on. Confess. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. They're here to nag? I feel like we're some sort of like stray cat that they picked up and they're taking care of us at this point. Tied up real good. I'm home. And that is today's episode of Loner Life. And I am not too convinced that this guy died at the end. There was no confirmation. We did use, you know, a final, like, decisive blow. But I don't think Tanaka's dead, man. I think the copycat skill is too important. Maybe it'll, like, show up later on in a different way. But, like, just keep, 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 keep his... I don't know. He might not be dead. He may be dead. They made it very ambiguous in the anime. And if you're a source material reader confirming it, you fucking spoiling. Now, today's episode was basically just an action-packed episode. I think that the animation quality was definitely above average. This is more than I can ask for from like shows like fucking Tower of God, right? Like, this is pretty good. It was obviously not the best fluid animation, but damn. But the fights were genuinely pretty hype. At the end of the day, it came down to luck and a bit of proficiency because we have quote unquote like useless skills because that we don't have all these OP skills we need to use your ingenuity to come up with different creative combinations but to also understand how to use it in battle experience but this guy you know he just gets carried by his OP power Gilgamesh looking fucking ass but copycat truly is just so OP three limits of uses though now everything should be fine and the class rep in Haruka, maybe there's something more going on here. To be honest, if there's any kind of romance going on, I want it to be between the otakus and the gals. I think that the otakus and the gal matchup would be so fucking cool. But beyond this, I wonder what kind of arc we're going to go into. Because this honestly does feel like a season finale, but that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.